Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. In today's RoboBite, we wanna to talk to you about our Tetrix Max two-piece motor mount. Now our motor mount as a motor mount is part of the motion family in the Tetrix ecosystem. It is commonly used obviously to mount a motor, but this one is a little bit special because it's got some unique features. It is two piece, so we have a cap that detaches and then your motor would actually be allowed to be set down from the top instead of through the typical motor mount and then the cap would tighten down on the front. But again, the advantage to this particular mount is the uncommon ways that you can mount this. It has multiple mounting points. So I've got mounting points on this side, on the bottom, obviously on the opposite side, and then with these standoffs on the front, I can mount it through the front of the beam. So it becomes a very versatile type of a mount. And I can show you an example of that with a motor. I have my Tornado motor mounted in this particular mount. And as you can see, I've got a channel attached on this end. And I could have attached a channel on this end, which would have made it part of actually a structural element. So again, this is one of those versatile aspects of this particular mount. I have it mounted on the bottom on, on as well. So it becomes very versatile in the way that you can mount it. Let's talk about a few other things as far as uh, things you might wanna watch for when you use this mount. Again, because we have the Torknado and the offset shaft, we need to think about that and how that we mount that. If we have a particular mounting where we're mounting through the front of a channel, then we need to make sure that offset shaft is rotated to the proper position so that it becomes centered in the middle of our channel. Um, because it is a two-piece cap and or other mounting points and they don't have kept nuts on the back, it does come with lock washers. So you need to use those lock washers so that you can, uh, can tighten those down properly and keep those nuts from backing off. So that's something to think about. Let me go ahead and show you this robot real quick so you can see how it actually looks in, in, uh, in practice. But it allows me to, again, mount this particular motor in a direct drive situation and actually it becomes part of the structure of this particular robot. Allows me to make a very flat type of a robot. Extra resources. Remember, you can always go to the pitscope.com product page for that particular item and find everything you need to know about that item at the bottom of the page. Spec files, CAD files, everything you need to know will be at the bottom of the individual product page. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots and come back and see us.